Is this something that starts at a certain age? I actually started getting visions when I was seven years old. We all have a psychic ability in us, but for me to tell you how does it work, how do I talk to spirit, how do I get my visions and connections, I don't know. Really like a third eye, I guess, in a way. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> Can I get your birthday? Yeah, March 19th, 2000. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do your numbers. And um, let's see, 3, 4, 5, 19. Uh, ooh, 5, okay. 9, 10, 14, carry one. Your life path number is 6. Anything over 4 is actually really healthy. But the higher your number is, the more... Uh, connections you have with the universe. What's the highest to go? Is it out of 10 or is there a maximum? 11. Okay, can I ask your number? 22. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So you've maxed it out yeah, uh, on the skill yeah, tree? Yes, when I, when I meditate, I, I astral project. Have you ever seen the show Adventure Time, the cartoon? Yes. Yeah, I, there's I, a lot of astral projection yeah, in there. So I don't awesome. do the future a lot anymore mm -hmm. because um, just personal reasons. And I've taken a few people with me sometimes and oh, yeah. experience it. It was crazy, but uh, you know, maybe one day we could you could do a, a video on astral projection. Yeah, yeah. And take you to that dimension oh, yeah. in the past. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't do future anymore. I've been working on your numbers and I just did your life path number, which is six. Connecting with your visions, getting visions about you and whatnot. Um, hmm. You do have a long life path. But, uh, whew. you're a risk taker. You take risks. You, it sounds like you're saying that in a bad way, maybe. No. Or a, too risky of a way. Sometimes you have to be careful with the risks you take in life. Okay. Um, it might end up in a way, if you take a risk, and you're not really ready for that risk, yeah. get hurt physically. You're prone to falling <laughs> and hurting yourself. Have you hurt yourself before? Uh, broken a bone or two? I haven't broken anything. I see you bungee jumping in the future. <laughs> Have you bungee jumped yet? I haven't, no. Is it on your bucket list? Bungee, I think bungee jumping is the one that I wouldn't, but I do really like heights. Yeah, heights, I see so, you like, yeah. Even I like, I've gotten into rock climbing. Yeah, I see you somewhere, I don't know, not in America though, doing this over water. Yeah. I don't know country. why, have you ever been to Peru? No, I haven't been out of the country. I see you going to Latin America, Peru, something moving me to Peru. Do you have any Latin blood in you? Uh, I don't think so, no. Okay. I don't well, know. I've never done like a DNA test. Okay. But I don't know why there is a connection with the country of Peru. I don't know why Peru keeps on coming up. Yeah. But that's way up there. Not now. Find a cute like, girl there. And the knows. future, future path. Peru. You're Peru. I don't know why. Anyways, uh, be careful. I know you want a love reading. We're going to do that love reading in a minute. But yeah. I have to get all these visions out of my head. It's going to be hard finding the one. I'm going to let you know from now. Okay. It's gonna be hard. You're 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 really persisting, and you're pushing so hard. And the more you push on something, insist on something, the more you push it away from you. You need to leave it. Your numbers are not working for your favor. To be honest with you, when it comes to love and romance. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. There's a bloodline that goes to Egypt. You do the DNA and you're gonna be okay. connected to part of there, maybe ancestral yeah. connection there. You do have a lot of protection, ancestral protection. Okay, mm -hmm. your ancestors are protecting you. I don't know from which side, but probably it's from that side, the father's side, okay. the African side, okay? Yeah. And um, a lot of protection. You don't have luck in love. Don't force it. Love is gonna come later in life. And you're still very young. You're still a very young man. Yeah, an impatient young man. An impatient. The universe is telling you you need to focus on your future, on your life path, on making money and business for the next 10 years. Okay? 10 years. 10 yeah. years. I see the number 32. That's when you're going to meet your person. You do have as, a double as digit. An age, kind of. That's an age where you're going to meet the person. Okay. And it's going to happen like this. 
you're not just unexpected it's yes just, there she is. it's gonna be like love at first sight but not anytime soon right, okay man 10 years yeah. my numbers never lie but it's not gonna happen before the number 32 your age at 32 that's when you're gonna meet her man that's the earliest yeah so 10 years you're 23 now yeah 23 nine years okay yeah you're spitting facts so let's see what comes up sure have you ever had a tarot reading before I have I've had a couple friends bring some packs but uh I so think they were uh, just uh, having fun. Yeah, yeah, they got a you know off Amazon. Okay. You know, quick reading, so. But not from somebody that's been doing this for thirty plus nah, years. they're not even thirty years old. Just the amateur, okay. amateur work. <laughs> if somebody's gonna be reading your tarot cards and they have the book on the side to describe each card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that. that no, no, don't. Yeah. <laughs> the first opening that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a general opening on your energy, okay, Alex? Okay. And then we're gonna focus on love. So this is a general energy, and let's see what the universe is sending messages to us today. You're an old soul. An old soul person is somebody that has a past life. You have a past life, my dear. Oh, okay. And I can connect with at least two past lives. Past like I'm lives. on at least number three, essentially. You are. You have two past lives. Okay. Do you sometimes feel in a different space? Like, do you over dream? Over, like literal dreaming? Yes, kind of? or your imagination. Is your imagination crazy? It goes out of the blue and you start like overthinking stuff and, and trying to, you know what I mean? Yeah, auditorily, it's it's a very insane imagination. Yes. Plus I get super into dreaming. Mm. Like some, I think some months, I'll be more invested in the dreams that I'm having and my kind of dream life mm. almost. Mm. Like I have a dream car. Uh, that's different from my actual car. Mm -hmm. And one of your past lives was like a risk taker. Okay. And more or less than this one, do you think? I don't know. I think right. more. Oh, okay. A risk taker. And they've always got themselves into trouble. That's probably what killed them, isn't it? <laughs> mm, be careful not getting into trouble. And you said what killed them, yes. Oh, really? Killed them. There's your death card. Oh. So I have a warning sign for you. Be careful with your risk taking, but be careful how you use your imagination. Don't make major risks in life. Be careful. Okay. So I should almost fight the urge a little bit? Yes. You need to calm down, my dear. Don't go too crazy with life. One of your past lives was a crazy person. <laughs> this is the, the, which one? The yeah, risk taker the, one? The risk taker oh, one. Okay. There was a little bit crazy in them. All right. And I would say they might be, have been a little bit a personality disorder or bipolar in a way oh, okay. or schizophrenic in a way. Yeah. That's why sometimes you see those crazy imaginations in your head or those things that's like, oh my God, I'm going to try and make this or create this and it's going to be, you know, and, and... So you said, you said to kind of fight against the risk. Do you think also fighting against the emotional aspect? Yes. Okay. Don't take everything personal. You need to have a thicker skin and, and be more grounded. Yeah. You're not grounded at all. You need to ground yourself and, and, and live more in reality. Realism is boring though, isn't it? I know, but a little bit more realistic and create content that has meaning. And the reason you love, height, you love heights and you love, you have two different personalities in you. You have this crazy risk taker and you have the other one is so peaceful and full of love and romantic. Mm -hmm. And they are in Switzerland somewhere. Do you like the snow, the mountains? I love the mountains. Mountains. Yeah. I see you in Switzerland or I see you on a mountain and you're looking for real romantic love. You're looking for a soulmate. You're looking for, yeah. oh my God, my person, my one. This is not the hookup series. This is the, the soulmate series. Yeah. Yeah. And you are going to find her at age 32. Okay. She's probably going to be one or two years older than you. She's okay. not going to be your age or younger. And yeah. I feel you're so right be, now she's like 24, 25, hanging you're out. You're going to be traveling. Let's look into your future love and see. For the next nine years, enjoy life, focus on self-love, and, and work on making money. But you spend too much. <laughs> yeah. Don't overspend. Okay. It's just, it's really easy to, you, you make the money and then, well, the money's there, you get the money, yeah. gotta go. Uh, what if you go one month without making money? 
It's about my needs, not my wants. We all want that Louis Vuitton yeah. wallet, but I don't need it. I want it. It's not a necessity. Yeah. Unless you're going to be buying it for Lorenzo. <laughs> it's that wallet with the zipper, and I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, cars are my thing that I dump too much money into, so. They're fun, you know? And you can travel in them. But, so what do you think about, um... You're gonna go through a transformation. You're gonna go through a transformation. You're gonna become more into nature and more grounded by the time you're 25, 26. You're gonna take your whole life path into a different sector of things. Okay. You're gonna be more about traveling. You're gonna be more about seeing new things, new places, new dimensions in life. All right. Talking to native people. Mm -hmm. That's your path, I see. That's a pretty chill path. I'm, I would not complain. Love. I told you, my cards never lie. All right. Love. You see? I'm satisfied with this so far, yeah. There you are. You have not met your queen yet. Yeah, no. But you will meet your queen in the future, and there will be marriage. Yeah. We're going to go through a lot of relationships. You are very, I'm going to go through. You are a very sexual being, my friend. <laughs> you love sex, <laughs> intimacy. You love body contact, okay? I would say who doesn't, but I guess that just proves that that's describing myself. Okay. Because I just take Some it as a given. Some people are not very sexual. You're going to meet your person, not before the age of 32. And you're going to know, but it's going to be like, oh my God, I know you from a past life. Because it is kind of a reconnection is what you're saying. Exactly and there will be marriage. I don't see it in America. And I keep on getting either two lands, Egypt or Peru. Okay. You're gonna be hiking. I see you next to the pyramids in Egypt and she might be there. Or I see you hiking in the mountains in Peru somewhere and she's gonna be there. Not now, by the time you're 32. You're gonna go through a huge transformation. There will be a lot of short-term connections, a lot of one-night stands, a lot of short relationships, but none of them is gonna last. But that's not bad, so I shouldn't avoid why, physical nobody connection. Should, uh, why should you? You're, you're a guy. Don't put your heart into any of that. Okay. Because none of them, they're gonna work. You are so rushing and you get so comfortable, it's like, oh my God, I'm in love, I'm in love. And it's not right. It ended yeah. up, it, it'll end up badly. So no, you wait until you find her. Okay? But there, yeah, but there's an yeah. accent. This woman has an accent. A nice accent. And like her that. skin is so pearly, like pearls. So it's not white, it's like off white. All right, off white. Off white. Yeah. It's like ivory, ivory color. I love that color. Yeah. I love that ivory color. Yeah, you've got good taste. You will get married, you will have family in the future, and these are all the visions that are coming through from spirit and the universe. You are holding a baby in your hand. You will have a child. Do you okay, want to cool. know the sex of your first child? Oh, uh, yes. It's a boy. Okay, cool. Your first child is a boy. You're holding a baby boy in your hands. Okay. And he has that pearly, pearly, off-white, ivory color skin tone. Yeah. Okay? All right. Um, you said first, though. Think yeah, because I see one? two. Okay. Two. So I see the main baby and I see two. So a total of three kids. Oh, three kids. All right. Mm. But I'm seeing a lot of masculine energy. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing feminine energy. So, three boys. Three boys. Mm. But I guess I shouldn't tell these girls this, getting into the relationship. Like, you know, I don't think this is going to work more than a year. I no. guess I should go with the flow. Just go with the flow. Stop right. planning. Don't plan. You're a planner. Don't I'm a plan. planner. Yeah. Don't plan. Okay? Let's see. Even you know she's not my person, but my emotions take over free will and you marry that person, you're yeah. going to end up divorcing that person after a while because it won't be the same person. It's not your person. I th well, the best thing you've said is there is a soulmate out there. Because you, you know, you person, can get on You that. have double digits in your numbers. You have a person. I see her. Yeah. Very, very, very humble, down to earth, easygoing, soft-spoken, 
completely different than the types you, you, you look for now. <laughs> you look for a crazy. You will become more spiritual because you're going to go through a life change. This life change is going to make you stop in your grounds and, over, and think. So it's not a, necessarily a big event. It's going it to be more be, internal. It could be. No, it's an event that oh. is going to be a life-changing event that might not that might put you in a place where, oh my God, no, I need to back out. I need to stop and, and think. Because I do see you non-religious, non-spiritual. I see you going with the flow. You're just jumping and humping and going like crazy. <laughs> it's really nice sound the cards make. It's very satisfying. Thank you. There's your queen again, same queen. Two queens. Oh, yeah? There's you, marriage. You haven't met her yet. You're going to meet her in the future. So. You're going to go through a relationship before you meet your person. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a long-term relationship, but she's not going to be the one. There's the first queen, and there's your queen coming on later, okay? Oh, all right. Because I get infatuated easily, I so know. it'll be different from a different feeling. Yes, that's why you feeling. need to calm down and don't use your emotions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it'll be the one that you used to know from a past life from the mountains of Switzerland. That's why I see the ivory pearly colors. Yeah. Yeah. You will be very comfortable financially, but you're going to change. You're not going to be the materialistic person that you are now. Okay. You're going to become a minimalist. Mm -hmm. Something is going to happen. I wouldn't say tragic, but in a way, a little tragic. Oh. That is going to change your whole life, the way you look at life. You kind of said tragic with a smile. I guess it's because it goes in the right direction. You will be saved. You're not going to die. All right. Yeah. So you're going to have a life altering situation that you will come out. Oof. Do you drive fast? Yeah. You're going to be in a car accident. All right. I haven't street raced recently. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that. Do you have a red car? I do. You have a red car? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> really? It's in the red car? I saw the That's red car. That's my slower car. Is it? Uh, okay, I got two, so you the have red a, is... A red, a red car that's fast? It's pretty fast, but it's not as... It's the slower of the two. I don't care. It's a red car. Yeah. And this... It might not be one that you have now. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a car in the future you might get. Okay. A red car. Because in the back of that red car, I see, you know, those exhaust things. What do you call them in the back? Yeah, the tailpipes. That the smoke comes out when you go. It's like S4. One, two, three, four. Oh, all right. Corvette, maybe. I don't know. I don't know cars. Yeah. I, I'm not into cars. I don't know anything about my cars. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, my current one has two tailpipes, so we're upgrading. But not for long if, if I crash it. Oh, no. You're going to be in an accident and you're going to come out. You're going to be saved but you will be hurt. And there's a broken bone after okay. this accident. I just want you to be very careful. Yeah. Very careful, okay? And but is this something I can avoid? It's, it's free will. Don't okay. drive fast, don't race. Yeah. Don't race, and you can avoid it. Could this happen on track, possibly? I don't know, but you are a stubborn mule. You're gonna race. I, th I think I will race on track, but not on street anymore. I don't That's know. My hope. You're a very stubborn mule. You, I see you. I see the vision. Yeah. Okay. I've been yeah. seeing visions for, since I was seven. You're racing. I see yeah, it. I'm. 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 Yeah. And I, I see the red that. car. Mm -hmm. And 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 it's going. Shh. But you're not going to die. Knock on wood. Call the angels. Yeah. Call the angels. Call the angels. Call Michael. Always bring Michael, Archangel Michael, to your life. Call mm -hmm. the angels. You're gonna have a broken bone or two. And you're going to say, you know what? I'm going to take a spiritual life path. It's going to wake up something in your spirit, in your heart, in your soul. I guess maybe good and bad are the wrong labels for things. Because while this is a bad I event, don't know. it's kind of necessary. I don't know. You don't have to believe a word I say. But when Lorenzo sees a vision, yeah. from my experience with people coming back, it's like, oh my God, Lorenzo, oh my God, Lorenzo. Take it seriously. Yeah. I'm telling you, take my vision seriously. I didn't even know you had a red car, and I didn't even know that you like to speed or you like to race. And I, I told you before you told me. Do you have any questions for me? 
I'm already I'm guaranteed gonna to, I'm that gonna you have to will, think about that. So. I'm already guaranteed you will find your soulmate at 32. Yeah. And she's not gonna be an American or in America at all. See, since you sat down, I saw that broken bone. I saw that broken bone. Just yeah. be careful, my friend. Please. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. It's a weird mix of comfort and anxiety. Yeah. Because how would I know? The reason I brought up the last vision to confirm to you that what I'm seeing before and everything I told you is going to come to reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why I always ask my spirits to show me something that you already have and you already know. Yeah. You could have easily have a blue car. Well, or, yeah, just, or, I mean, car or, is anything. Or a white yeah. car. Yeah. Or you could have a, a, a golden car. Or a black car. Mm -hmm. I use the word red. And then you're racing and car accident. Just be careful. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to confirm to you that I don't play around with my visions. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, I mean... I, yeah, I gotcha, but it's a, little, it's a little scary, what can I say? Um, you came and asked for it, and I'm giving it to you. Yeah, I'm getting exactly what I asked for. Thank yeah. you. Namaste. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. Man. I don't play. I saw it. Why should I play around? Well? I saw you. How the hell would I know you have a red car? I saw you in a red car. Yeah. And you're speeding and you're racing and you're, 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 you're I see it. Mm -hmm. The red, right leg. Oh, all right. Being broken. Do you have stitches on that right leg? No, I don't. I've had very few injuries. You think I'm on the upper, I guess it's bad to, com comparison's bad. I compare a lot, but. Compare what? myself to others that you've talked to like if, i don't know if i'm on the upper half of everybody has their own reading everybody's yeah. different mm -hmm. you're trying to ask me if you're better than other people no i i guess i am take that nasty narcissism out of your mind you'll focus on your life path this is off record and make sure your life path is beautiful and make sure you're happy and always work with integrity and morals and character and always do the right thing when nobody's watching and you will be on the top of the list. What's meant for you, you're gonna receive and what's not meant for you, you will never see. You're luckier than a lot of people and I would say that. That okay. I'm gonna give you. You're luckier than a lot of people. Yeah. Always do your thing with love and always pay it forward, and it'll come back to you 100 times full. Okay, yeah. I mean, you get what you deserve is essentially what you're saying. You get what you throw into the universe. Yeah. You are a good person. I feel your aura. You have a very nice aura. You have a lot of yellow around you. Is that a good color? I feel like a lot of people hate yellow, but yellow is like my second favorite color. Yellow is not a bad color. Are you talking to somebody? Mm -hmm. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, I do not. Okay. Are you into boys or girls? I, I don't really know. I'm just kind of questioning right now. I got it. I felt it. I felt it. Yeah. Do you know somebody by name? Uh, that's my dad, yeah. Okay. Okay. You need to know that he loves you a lot. Okay, no, I, I feel it. And he's, he's going to accept whatever you come up with. Yeah. That's what we know. Okay? I just want you to love yourself. I do. Trust me. Good. And you're going to be okay. You're going to be fine. Are you going to college? Are you in college? No, I'm not in college. I, I started off in college, um, but I just... What do, you, just, what do you do now? Uh, just kind of free-floating right now. So I'm um, looking at new jobs and work cameraman. <laughs> I got you. Odd jobs here and there. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to be okay. You're going to be fine. Yeah. But I truly see a guy next to you, not a woman. So, as we spoke on that, um, we'll give you a cleanse, energy cleanse. Yeah, um, separate. I don't know how much you taped. I uh, taped everything until you told me to cut off the cameras. Yeah, because I wanted to talk to him from a bigger brother to a younger brother. And I was yeah. just giving you life advice. Yeah, I, yeah, you're I both, You're both going to do very well, okay? Mm -hmm. One advice I want to give you. What is your first name? Uh, don't trust everybody. Keep that in mind. Yeah, don't, don't trust anybody. Hello. Hey, I'm Alex. This is uh, 
camera yeah, guy. So come on in. Cool, cool. I'm excited. Thank you for letting us film and everything. Hope your day's going well so far. Are you still taping? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can roll the, but we'll roll the whole time basically. Okay. Um, Any person that I give a reading to has to sign my disclaimer. Okay. I'm gonna give you a minute to read it. This is off record, but I don't care who it is. Mm -hmm. They have to sign my disclaimer. So you're the cameraman. Cameraman, brand new to it. Yeah. Whew. Interesting. 